We're Angelo and Ilsa, theater owners from Western New York, forced out of business by the global happenings of 2020. With no clear view in sight of when we would be able to reopen our live performance venue, we moved our family into a 15-year-old shuttle bus and made it our tiny off-grid home on wheels. Subscribe and join us and the Inspire Engine on all of our adventures. people uh, give tours of the inside of their buses or vans and we have had the bus for eight months about and have not done a tour yet the reason being is because it's always a mess but today we had an interview with Bob Wells which was very exciting which gave us an excuse to thoroughly organize and clean the bus so we figured we would do our van tour or bus tour uh, now because it's in good shape, which doesn't happen very often. So we're going to uh, give you a tour and show you what we've done and what it looks like in here. The Inspire Engine is a four-window StarCraft turtle top shuttle bus on a 2005 Ford E350 6-liter diesel chassis, and we have converted it on a shoestring budget. But it's not about the bus or the build. It's about the adventures we will have with it. I am currently standing in our spacious kitchen and this is the place where all of the meals get cooked and we can wash things up. We have a sink here. All of our spices are stored up here. We have utensils. We have our, our stove is strapped in and it forms a nice little wall here so we can store a whole bunch of food back there because we have a lot of people in this space and we eat a lot. Angelo installed this sink. It's a fisherman's cleaning sink, and it's actually got two bays, but we have this one covered. And he got it hooked up to a marine pump right here. Nice and easy. It's, um, let's give it a go. You can see the water has nice flow. We have a collection tank underneath. A little garbage right here, just right in the table. So if we're cutting something up, we push stuff right in the garbage. The stove is a propane stove, which you are not supposed to use inside as a general rule. However, if you have good airflow, it's fine, especially because we did install a carbon monoxide detector up here. So the kitchen really has all the convenient things we need. We boil water in a teapot to make coffee. It's kind of like our on the road Keurig. We just use one of these guys and stick it on a mug and it filters the coffee through. It's nice and easy. That's one of the most important parts of our day. Now Angelo is standing in our spacious kitchen to show you the awesome things that he built. So why don't you get on that? Okay, so the kitchen counter, or the, this front cabinet door, pops up. It makes more counter space. And underneath, that's where we keep our propane. And then in the back, the blue is our fresh water tank. That's our gray water tank. The pump pulls the water from the blue up to the faucet and then it dumps it back into the gray water tank and then we just use that to water a tree. Keep our pots and pans in here and trays and other things that we need in the kitchen. And there's some other storage on this shelf too. It's kind of shoved because we were trying to make the bus look nice and more streamlined. It's not always that shoved. There's, there's another shelf over here underneath that table. That's where we keep our condiments and stuff too. A couple little decorations there. Home is where you park it. So behind this little shelf thing, there was just upholstery here and there was a soft spot in the upholstery. So we cut into that and found that there was nothing but space behind the upholstery. So we cut a hole and made a hidden pantry. Hidden pantry. See. We don't want anyone to know where we keep the, the corned beef and the tomato puree. <laughs> it's like the secret storage. And it's set with a lock so it won't fling open while we're driving. 
And then we can keep things like sunglasses and stuff in there too. And yeah. remotes. So. We, Still haven't found the Roku remote. The Roku remote has been missing for a month. This is the wall of snacks. The snack wall. And that's just a shoe rack that we installed. Very handy. Instead of having like boxes um, filling up other spaces or on the floor as things usually wind up, it is a great place to shove little snacks that the kids can help themselves to. And below that is our Alpi Cool fridge. It's pretty small, but um, it works and it's very efficient. Um, I'm going to keep some drinks and other things in the basket on the stairs. And a few other kitchen items and miscellaneous goes on the other side. We did the same thing. It really clears things up when we have a space to shove little things. Every bit counts. Uh, underneath, Angelo built the boxes. Got our pantry in there. There's our pantry. And he did the same thing on this side. So we've got a lot of food stuffed in all sorts of places. This is the master bedroom. And it's pretty comfortable. It's a foam, lots of layers of foam. It's not quite as long or as wide as a full bed, but that's great when it's cold because we're forced to snuggle a little bit to stay warm. Um, and we're kind of wedged in here under the wheelchair lift, which we never took out. We left it because it is actually really convenient. We use that and we'll show you how that works too. Um, so we did lose a little bit of space for that, but luckily, how tall are you? You're 5'10"? Yeah. Angela's 5'10", and I'm 5'5", and we both can stretch out completely in this bed. So it's perfect for us. Lots of storage back here. We have cupboards for all of our things. I'll show you one of them. This cupboard contains all of my pajamas and my handkerchiefs and lavender oil, organic lavender essential oil, which I love, and I like to sprinkle it everywhere to relax. And we personalize them with pictures of our family. This one has um, some vitamins and some other random things. And Angela put these in so, you know, they don't fly open. This one contains all my socks. And then poor Angela just gets one. I, I take up most of the, the storage back here. He's got some wipes and cords and things in there. And then we put one of these guys up that usually would be hanging the long way in a closet. But this is all of the towels for six people. Turkish towels. These are awesome, by the way. Turkish towels are, they're very thin. And you can see they roll up to like the size of a, a pop can. So I'm able to fit everybody's towels, two towels for six people. So there's 12 towels that fit in this space. My toiletry bag, which I call my doctor bag because it's got all my, my healing stuff in there. And then some miscellaneous storage up here, like shove stuff, some extra sweaters. Oh, and Angela then installed this hammock for me because I was saying I need more storage. I always want more storage. I want more hooks. I want more storage. And he put up this hammock. So we've got some sweaters and hats and, again, kind of more miscellaneous stuff to get things off the floor so that we can have our bed space open. Because for a while, we were sleeping with things just kind of on our feet and falling on our heads. And now there's still a bunch of stuff at our feet, but it's all levitated by hooks. So our, our bed is nice and open. So we've got some extra pillows. We don't actually sleep with these. We kind of shove them out of the way. But these pillows are shams and we keep extra blankets if it gets cold. Or like this one is wool. It's nice to use outside as a picnic blanket. If the kids get cold, they've got some of their blankets in here. So both of these have extra blankets. But when we're trying to make the bus look nice, you know, we put those there. Nothing really matches all that much. We, we don't have like a fancy color scheme or anything. It's just practical, practical stuff. Um, Amen and Beck, we ain't. Oh, we were told, our daughter told us we are the dollar store version of Amen and Beck. <laughs> so, thanks. Um, I'll take it, whatever. I think it's cool. I actually think that's still a compliment. So, um, coming down awkwardly. This is one of the children's beds, and it is approximately the size of a twin. It's a little smaller. It's made with memory foam. A couple layers of foam here, and it's built up on plywood. And we just used the seats that were here and built on top of it. And this is great 
This is extra storage, an extra storage pocket, and we use that for ukuleles. See, there is a ukulele. Two ukuleles fit in here. And we have another ukulele on the other side. There's the same. There's a little pocket of storage. And by raising it up like this, it gives us more space underneath to really fill this up. And, you know, if we had done it just at this height, look, it would have lost all that, that room. So that's really convenient. And then we hide it away with a blanket. And right now, at this leg of our journey, we have an extra kid with us. Uh, my daughter brought her friend. And so the two, 12 and 13 years old, they share this bed. They sleep on it kind of different ways, sometimes head to one head over there, one head over here. Sometimes both their heads are here. They're a little crowded, but they, they manage okay, so it works for now. And they've got up above, this is kind of for all the little miscellaneous things, all the makeup and whatever little storage things, the little things that you don't want to get lost and disappear in the bus, because that happens a lot. Things will just, they vortex, it's an abyss. If you don't secure it somewhere, it disappears, and we don't know where it goes. Just like the Roku remote. The Roku remote is gone. It's gone <laughs> forever. <laughs> so we don't watch TV. This is our dinette table, and we rarely sit at this table to eat, but once in a while it is nice to all sit around a table and have dinner. Often we're sitting around a campfire or sitting around the table outside. But or just sitting on our beds. Or just sitting on our beds. We do like to sit together and eat as a family though. Bob Wells is driving by. Let's take a look. There he goes. That's not him on the ATV, that's somebody else. There's Bob, we just met with him a little while ago. That's why we were out here to meet with him. That was a very fun, cool experience. This tablecloth comes off. And it pops up. And I use a spring clamp, which comes off as well. And then this whoa, loud, goes down, and it becomes the height of a bed. And then we put a mattress on top, and that's where low D and Kaki sleep. Our dresser, our closet for most of our clothes. We used canvas to make the cabinet doors and they're on gas struts. This is my particular cabinet and I have all of my clothes. Every ounce of clothing that I need is in this section. And then I keep my underwear in a Ziploc bag and my socks are in another Ziploc bag in the back. Ilsa is here. Ambrosia and Raya have this one. And then Kati and Loji are on the end. Ilsa painted these two herself. And extra clothes and stuff are underneath this bed in duffel bags. Want to see the bathroom? <laughs> Behind this curtain is the throne. Ta -da! <laughs> there it is. This is the potty. We have a Thotford porta potty. And right now, for when we're driving, because obviously this is the cockpit where, we're, where we drive, um, we have a little console with storage and drink holders and a little charge thing. It's actually very convenient. I really like it. Um, we just move this. Usually I put it up on the dashboard. I squeeze it in right up there when we're parked for a while and then this becomes kind of the bathroom and the front seat. I always drive and the front seat is kind of my little um, vanity dresser. Like I like to sit up there and get ready and whatever. And the passenger seat is Angelo's office. So in the midst of our, um, our offices and dressing area is the toilet. So the driving area becomes the bathroom when you have to go number two. Uh, especially if you go number two, this is the place to do it. The lid comes up. It's got a flush valve over here. I'm going to do it. It's pretty easy to, to push and there's a holding tank for about three liters of water and the water comes in. And then to flush it, you just 
pull this out really quick and close it. Ah, oh no, it's stuck on a cord, and if you don't close it fast, it gets stinky. Okay. okay. So, um, when someone's going to the bathroom, they're sitting here. I'm not actually going to sit on it. That'd be weird. So this is what it's like to poop in the shuttle bus. The pasta strainer right over your Close head. the door. Nobody wants to see that. But then you see, <laughs> you know when someone's pooping because you see this. <laughs> Both feet sticking out. And then you see a hand reaching up here and fumbling for the toilet paper. So that's the potty. We have a 100 amp hour AGM J. J <laughs> 100 amp hour AGM gel cell battery is housed in here. So I say that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And How do we charge it? We charge it with um, solar panels, or we have a wire that goes directly to our alternator and we can charge it while we're driving. So we have two options for charging. We can charge up when we have a long driving day, but if we're parked for several days, then we get out the solar panels. And our solar panels are portable. We store them inside the bus, actually on the um, wheelchair lift. So we bring that down and can store them and protect them on there so they're out of the way. And we just put them facing the sun and then we can move them as the day goes. And people have asked us, why don't you have them on the roof? Well, um, they're designed to be portable, which is great. And we don't really have a way to mount them on the roof at this point. We have a fiberglass roof and we do not have a roof rack. We are looking for one, but we don't have that done yet. So that's the situation with the solar for now. See, when people have the solar on the roof, they have to park in the sun and it gets hot. Some of the places we've camped in Florida, especially where it's very, very humid, it is so hot. You just want to park near a tree and be in the shade. This is what I like to call the shed. Here, we have a screen, so if we want to leave this, these doors open at night and get some fresh air but not get some fresh mosquitoes, that's an option. It rolls up, it roll it up, and underneath I have a bunch of extension cords. I tuck this right up like this, and I can access all of our extension cords in case we have shore power. We can plug, we have a battery charger that we can plug into any shore power and then charge the whole battery without sun. We can be parked in the garage and still have charging. Of course, hula hoop. The hula hoop was originally for our shower curtain and our hose with our filter so that we can have clean water. It goes down. Ready? And this is where we keep our water. We have one seven gallon tank of fresh water under the sink, and then we keep three extra seven gallons. So there's 28 gallons of water altogether. We forgot yeah. to show them inside how that's, this is the shed, but underneath all of it, there's access from inside into the garage under here. So there's actually three points of access to this under storage area. And, you know, I have my guitar in there, which always has to come with me. We've got extra toys. We have extra things. Whatever. I use this to get free water no matter where I am. And I'll do a whole video on how these work. Okay. And then I can also use this space as countertop for when we're cooking outside. And this is also where we store the solar panels when we're driving. I just lay them down here. There's four of them. They lay down right here. And then... I strap them down so they don't go anywhere and the solar panels become our headboard. <laughs> There's the lovely Joshua tree in the background and our lovely sun over there. <laughs> Shaped like a Joshua tree. <laughs> so now we're coming around to the, um, the back porch which usually has our bikes on it, but when we are, when we're camped somewhere, uh, the bikes can come down, they're parked over there, and we can use it. Where Raya's sitting, trying to get some shade. Um, it got broken. The bumper of the, the porch got snapped off because we go four-wheeling and we are only a two-wheel drive and should not do that. 
we go off road a lot. You want to show this back part, Angelo? So this is our hot shower. Hi, Raya. And this is our daughter. Say hi. Hello. She's camera shy when we're filming. There's another child up there. And there's Logi to the screen. Okay. We put a screen on there so when we're sleeping, we can leave the, this back door open and get some airflow through the bus. We have a Camp Lux hot water heater to, for our shower. This hooks up to propane, and this hooks up to any USB outlet, which we have dozens of them on board. And we hook up a shower nozzle to it, and we can take a hot shower right here. But we usually use our shower tent. Come with me. This is our outhouse. Inside, we have a freshly used five gallon bucket. <laughs> Oopsie. In our bus, we have two bathrooms we have the bathroom in the cockpit, and we have this bathroom and we can actually use both of them at the same time. For number two, we do number two in the Thetford uh, toilet. That's a cassette toilet, and I have a video that talks about how we use that. And we also can do number two in this. You just put a bag in it, you do your business, you tie up the bag, and you find a dumpster. Pretty simple. We also we use that for just number one. We just won't put a bag in it, and then we just keep it sprayed down and cleaned. So this is a multi-purpose room. Sometimes we set this up on the back, right out the back over here, so that we don't have to move the, the hot water heater. Although the hot water heater can be moved, it's easier to just set it up right out back if we need the privacy to take a shower. Um, but also, this little guy is very convenient for showering. That is one of those water sprayers that, um, it's a gallon water sprayer, and I found I can take a shower with that sprayer with about a half gallon of water, which is really great. So you can serve water by using that thing instead of using the, the Camp Lux. The Camp Lux, we go through a little bit more water to use it, do a shower that way. There's also a video of me taking a shower. Should anyone like to check that out? We'll link that right up here. <laughs> but let's take a look over here. We'll just show you our solar panels real quick. We've got them right outside the bus. There they are. And here's the bus. So we just run the cord right out, and there they are facing the sun. Look at this beautiful backdrop, too. It's amazing. It's amazing. awesome. Kati's here. Click the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and smash it off! <laughs> they, they'll spend hours just totally ignoring us, but as soon as we turn the camera on, then they want things. If we left something out that you want to see, you can let us know, and we will show you how we do it. If you have any questions about our build, please leave them in the comments. If you have any ideas of things that we might be able to improve upon, please leave those in the comments yes. as well. We love hearing other people's ideas. Everything we've made has been inspired by something that other people have done. Uh, we can look up front here. Uh, this I call this my side. We keep our, our sunshades are up right now, but these are the kind they fold up. I just shove them right here in the door. And I also have like stuff, my, my wipes, wet wipes and- Scissors. <laughs> yeah, my scissors. My toothbrush and my brush. This is kind of like my little, my oh, little pantry of, of beauty supplies. What is that? Oh, this is just a charger and a flashlight. What, what is that part? Um, it's just a cover because there's a glass breaker underneath this. Emergency tool. Emergency tools are good. I keep pepper spray and uh, this is, it has a seatbelt cutter on it as well. We have some safety things. We have a fire extinguisher. We have carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah, I have me. a tactical shovel you that could make me. a good weapon if necessary. And you have me. And here. She's a, she's a tough cookie. Crank it out. <laughs> Not really. And this is where all the driving happens. Oh, and here's hair ties. Yeah. Hair ties. I, it's it's kind of girly. I, I hang hair ties from all the places on the on the shifters. There's hair ties. And I have a, a pile of my belongings there and I store my shoes under the seat because everyone's always losing their shoes in this bus I put them all 
Where's my hiking shoes? I got flip flops and sneakers. Everything is kind of like stashed under here. It's my own little wardrobe. And there's Angelo. He's in his office. Do you have anything left to say? Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and smash it all. Smash it all! Why should they why should they ring the notification bell? So then they never miss another video. Do you think people like watching our videos? Uh, yeah, dog. Some people, kids will not like watching this, but grown-ups, yes. Some people <laughs> like it. Some people like it. A lot of people. Some. A lot of grown-ups like it. Not a lot of kids. No kids will like this. You, you guys are not funny. You get, you make jokes that kids don't even understand. Mostly Papa. Should we work on that? Should we try to get better jokes? Like. Like, no, those jokes are good for kids. Like, I mean, I not kids, like, uh, grown-ups. Like, I don't understand. Adults. So they're always up to something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. All right, Goodbye. I'm going to turn off the camera, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.